only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. What does being a student activist, what does that mean? What does it look like? It's so various. It's so various. What's the common thread? You care. You care. We are all part of a generation that can critically look at the existing systems and see where we would like them to change or be improved or totally rethought. We can embrace student activism and you know learn how to use our voices to make a change. We can actually start improving the systems and the society and the culture that we're in uh, so that we can make a better world. I think that all students should be activists. Being a student is about having an open mind and it's about free thinking, which is what predicates free speech. Um, we need to always be able to ask the deepest questions. We need to radically reconsider, which just means to get to the root of things, um, the nature of reality. Whether in this country or any other country, students have often played very critical roles, college students, very critical roles in changing the politics of a country. Uh, and there are very clear reasons for that. Students are able to take risks. Most people in society are not. So we're probably on the brink of a new phase in history where activism is going to become more important. One of the most important things that we have to realize is that it's actually really important to believe in something and to take a stand for something. And just the satisfaction of looking around the, at the world with your unique perspective and your unique gifts and then taking some type of action to make the world a better place on, be, on behalf of just yourself perhaps or on behalf of others, that in and of itself is, makes us all better people and it makes the world a better place. In many ways, student activists are visionaries. They're the people that are looking forward into their own lives and they see you know, what, what's coming and, and they act accordingly. And, and I think all people do that. And the reason that students are so often the core of environmental work and young people are so often the core of environmental work is because they understand that they're gonna be dealing with the consequences decades down the line. And older people may not see it that way. And, and frankly, people near the end of their lives uh, though it may seem selfish to younger people, are just not thinking in those terms. Back in 1970, the typical person who was a student here was not working. To think about that as when I say students have freedom, well, at that time they had a lot of freedom uh, because they weren't necessarily bound by work and loans and the belief that you had to get that degree because your future depended on it. That was not, this may surprise people now, but that wasn't what students were thinking at that time was so crucial. And people see these films, they, they might see documentary films about the movements back then and say, why aren't we like that? And when they ask me that, I say, you know, you are actually. You just haven't been presented with the conditions that those people uh, were able to 
take advantage of or were challenged by. So we now live in a society where this great engine of social change, young people with nothing to lose and an easy access to get back in, doesn't exist anymore. So a lot of students, and I can definitely agree with this, a lot of students want instant gratification, yeah. right? And it's a very interesting phenomenon amongst um, this new generation. People who want instant gratification, they're impatient, and if they don't get what they want immediately, they either get really angry or they just give up. And it's pretty simple because you need to go out and inspire people and talk to people about what kind of change you want to see in the community and how you want to get to that place. And you, if you're going to stop people at the Arbor or you're going to stop people um, like somewhere else on campus, most of the time they're, they're busy, they're doing things. And it's, it's tough because you, f you get a lot of rejection. Yeah, and I'm so sick of people saying that students are complacent and that like our generation isn't going to do anything with what we've been given because that's so not true. And what I've seen from like Christy and from Students Against Fracking is that these are people who are going to make a difference and that's sort of what student activism is all about. It's reminding them that they're not in charge. We're in charge and we're going to be in charge very soon. look at history, if you look at the really long, long-term trends of any of this work, um, you, the students are always on the right side. It's, you know, you're, you're always going to win in the long run. The problem is it is a long run and you can't, you're not going to see that, that, that immediate gratification. You're not going to see the immediate impact in most cases. Um, but there's nothing like an early win to get someone really hooked uh, into organizing. So if you're, if you're constantly losing, it's, it's hard to stay connected. But, but there's a lot of examples where if you're willing to look at the longer, longer arc, uh, you're going to see the success. So to motivate students today, we've got to come up with projects that are more directly relevant to their lives. But we also have to help them understand something else which is a little harder to talk about and a little harder to describe which is activism is fun and people are motivated and should be motivated by having fun, by enjoying themselves, by finding you know, ways of meeting other people and embracing and experiencing the joys of life. I've done that through activism. I've met wonderful people, had great experiences, went on amazing adventures all through activism. There's nothing more adventurous than taking on a massive project like changing the government, uh, changing policy, overcoming discrimination, something like that. Rounding up all of your friends, making new friends in the process, even getting arrested and spending time in jail and all the bad things that can happen to you. Somehow when you're doing it with a thousand other people who all think the same way you do, uh, it, it goes from being a, an oppressive experience to being fun. So what, what our obligation is, is to go out and to show every person that they have a stake in this, they can make a difference, we can make a difference together, and uh, I've seen that happen repeatedly throughout my life. So, uh, and, and then for those who are considering, well, maybe give it a shot. You know, I've yet to meet anyone who has ever been involved in activism of any kind who later said, you know, it didn't make any difference at all, it wasn't worth it. The people that I run into who are the naysayers, and there aren't that many of them, to be honest with you, are the people who never even tried in the first place. So let's give people an opportunity to try it out, to learn. If you feel like you can help people, and you feel like you can make a difference, then you should go out and be an activist on some level. And it doesn't mean going out and protesting, it doesn't mean getting petitions, it means talking to people, talking to people in the community about what's going on in the community, or in the nation, you know, or in the world. The sooner that we actually really step up and start to do something, really anything, we're acting more in the way that we need to act for a healthy, thriving democracy. I'm counting on student activists to push the edges um, of social norms, of challenges around environment and sustainability, of what's right and wrong, 
so that I can actually know that when I'm an old granny, <laughs> I can feel good about how the world has evolved because students were asking really important questions long after maybe I started turning my attention elsewhere. I want, I want to be in community with people who are awake, who are alive, who are defining themselves by their service. You make a life by what you give. That's the way to really become a fulfilled person. I could be wrong. I don't think so, though. In the time I've been in the community of Earthlings, this is my observation, is that there really is a path of happiness, and it requires activism. I mean, to people who are interested in being involved in student activism, I would say jump in and do it. Because I never thought I would, and it's been the most rewarding thing I could have done this semester, this entire year. And we're just freshmen, and so we're just getting started, and there's so much, so much room for growth in our like political systems and in our society, and things aren't going to change unless you step up and do it. So, I mean, yeah. heck, step up, why not? We did it. <laughs> Don't wreck our future! Don't wreck our future! Don't wreck our future! Well, you asked me what activism has done for me and how it's changed my life. It got me a wife, two kids, a career, uh, but most importantly, as important as my wife and my kids are, most importantly, what activism did for me is that it allows me to say today at age 73, that I've used my time well, that I've accomplished real things in the real world, that I've left the world a little better than I found it, and that my life has been about something that made me feel good, that I don't regret, and at this advanced age, I feel terrific about how I spent my time. So what greater reward could anyone ask for? that.